Okay, so finally AIG has published uh, some of the counterparties that they were paying their uh, bailout money to. Now this is, you know, outside of the bonuses which these top executives paid to themselves. So uh, it's uh, in the interest of disclosure and public outrage, needless to say, they had to do something. But here's something else, and it goes further. So here we have Bank of America this time. No public disclosure there, except for very few things. This was, uh, I'm not even sure where I got this from. I, I think I got this article from Raw Story, if I believe. And um, I'll post a link to it if, if I can find that article again. You know, I do my research during my quick breaks at work and uh, sometimes when I'm very tired at night. So you'll, if I find the link, I'll post it. So it's not a matter of uh, trying to uh, put this out there as, as my own um, <laughs> investigative journalism, which it's, it's certainly not that. The judge who will decide whether information about those Merrill Lynch bonuses should be made public has said that he'll make a decision within the week. And this was coming from Bloomberg News. New York uh, Attorney General Andrew Cuomo is investigating the bonus awards, which <laughs> reportedly totaled three to four billion not millions, billions. Bank of America, which now owns Merrill Lynch because they bought it out with the taxpayer money, I might add, has refused to disclose the uh, to the, to Cuomo, Attorney General, which Merrill employees received those awards and how much each one of them got. But we particularly liked this argument. Um, Americans, and this is coming from the CEO of Bank of America. His name is Evan Davis, or rather, he is the, not the CEO, but the lawyer for Bank of America. Americans, this is the argument, Americans care about their privacy. It matters to us because if we don't try to protect it and succeed in, uh, and succeed in protecting it, we'll lose them to foreign banks. And yes, Bank of America, the famed protector of privacy. When the subject is executive pay and bonuses, that might be true in terms of privacy. When it comes to the consumer's personal information, maybe not so much. The proposed settlement for a class action suit against Bank of America that would affect everyone who has ever had a checking account or savings account with that particular bank since 1995 is pathetic. In return for selling your private information to marketing agencies all over the globe, including some of your account numbers, personal information, addresses, and perhaps even social security numbers. Bank of America settled for this. You can get $200 off your next mortgage with Bank of America. And it doesn't the generosity doesn't stop there. Fees are waived for deposited items getting returned. Wow. Fees returned for calling customer service. 
12 months free subscription to a credit card protection service at a $30 value. And it goes without saying, 90 days free of private assistant identity theft protection service, which would normally be uh, cost you $17.85. That was the settlement in terms of breach of privacy of bank consumers, which Bank of America has pushed through. I don't even know what to say anymore. You know, people are outraged uh, for a reason, and this outrage needs to grow. It, it, in any other country, people would be out on the streets right now shutting the system down, going on a general strike and saying enough is enough. But yet Bernanke comes on 60 Minutes and tells us all is going to be fine. Because now, oh, of course, everything is going to be regulated. I, I don't even know whether to get angry anymore or to, or to laugh. Anyway, uh, I have uh, actually um, a few more uh, uh, humorous things to say tonight, but uh, my... Uh, it's a 10-minute video thing here, so I'll, I'll have to leave that for later. Bye.